uh, otherwise it used to be dormant but now very assertive that the mm -hmm. whole of uh, arunachal pradesh is south uh, is south tibet they are pushing it in international forums you saw it in the asian development bank when mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. tried to block and fail block the adb's yeah. uh, aid to arunachal and, pradesh and what has happened is yes since the line of control has not uh, uh, been demarcated the ministry of external affairs is saying yes they they did, it can't be regarded as an intrusion from the chinese point of view but the fact of the matter is number of incidents and the level of penetration after 2005 2006 has increased chinese troop deployments have increased and then you have statements on chinese website saying they'll break india into 30 parts the latest is that they have been training and arming nagas in the pla in manipur mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, you know Uh, uh, the, but the, 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 but the, the reality point. is that China wants to expand itself geopolitically in South Asia. But uh, Raja Manil, I'm going to get you in here. You're a representative of the Defence Forces here. I know, even though you retired, but I'm going to say that is there a difference in perception in the way the Defence <coughs> Forces see it and the way the diplomats see it? Because we're seeing the diplomats playing it down, and the Defence Forces actually, the Army Chief saying. strong measures have to be taken strong action has to be taken strong words have to be told to the chinese so there seems to be a difference between the way the army is reacting and the way the diplomats are reacting you know when you have a problem like this with china is potentially very dangerous i'll tell you why because the chinese have an expression called uh, teaching a lesson it's part of their strategic vocabulary mm -hmm. now that vocabulary doesn't exist with any other country they talk only vietnam china. a lesson it's only china that believes that you can Do actually... they feel india needs to be taught a lesson because of the nuclear deal because of the increasing Whatever. proximity it's with the america whatever the point of their concern 1962 was not about grabbing territory it was about teaching us a lesson right that the attack they did in vietnam was teaching a lesson so if the, with the chinese they don't believe that you must talk and until you finish talking you can't use force mm -hmm. chinese believe that using force is part of negotiations so we have a dangerous situation here because the armed forces are bought are brought up our armed forces like armed forces of all the countries in the west are brought up on clauswitz clauswitz says war keep, is diplomacy by other means yeah but there is a dividing line the chinese say there no dividing line because mao said there's no dividing line right mao said you know you can have conflict So, yeah, so, so armed con conflict and negotiations are, the same are perfectly thing. compatible. Are yes. the same thing. Yeah. One more thing, Sagar. One more thing, Sagar. <coughs> the way they have been providing nuclear weapons technology, nuclear weapons designs, plutonium to Pakistan, the way they are equipping the Pakistan Air Force with a 150 front-range aircraft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Obviously, they have a policy of containment of India. But why should we hold that against China? China, after all, is ruthlessly pursuing its own self-interest. It's known to be a ruthless all, pursuer of its, of its I, own self-interest. All, all I'm saying is, let's be realistic and not claim Hindi, Chini, bye bye, and they are our comrades. Right. Yes. And let's get in our, our, our comrade on the on the panel tonight. <laughs> uh, Nilodhpal Basu is here of the CPM. Nilodhpal Basu of the CPM, of course, the communists in India are known to have uh, ideological affinities with the ideology of communist China. But do you feel that, in fact, in this particular stage in our histories, the national interest of China and the national interest of uh, of India are are certainly on a collision course? I think uh, first, let me abuse you. Uh, of the insinuation uh, that uh, you have heard at me i think uh, in no way the patriotism of indian communists can be questioned we are patriots as much as any other force in 1962 what we had pointed out that there is a border dispute between india and china and it needs to be resolved through a dialogue process unfortunately though the entire country has come around to this view but the insinuations continue and i have been hearing and we have been hearing for the last few months uh, this uh, extreme china bashing and i think it is also coincidental uh, with a context where uh, there is an increasing uh, uh, tendency in the world today towards multipolarity obviously there are forces in the country who would like to see that uh, uh, unipolar architecture of the global processes continue even though uh, americans are losing all that leverage what they had earlier uh, after the financial meltdown 
and therefore i think it is very unfortunate the government of india the government of china they are uh, saying that we need to resolve uh, these problems through a process of dialogue uh, there were uh, border disputes with china uh, uh, that china had with 28 countries 27 countries those border disputes have been resolved mm -hmm. and we hope that uh, senator council will prevail and uh, uh, through a dialogue process uh, these problems can be That's overcome an interesting point. so that the full 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 scope of the uh, multipolar world uh, Let me put uh, that where, where uh, we find Ch china and india cooperating on say uh, wto forum or on climate change uh -huh. or on g20 forum on so many areas where india and china are coming together and contributing positively uh, to a new architecture of the contemporary world